Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is all about all the mugs that I picked up on this road trip that we took to get from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Vancouver Island or Shawnigan Lake, British Columbia. And we went through a lot of states. So right here I have 20 of the Being There series and one of them are the You Are Here series, which I believe is being discontinued. This one was a gift from a friend. Her husband was deployed and they stopped off at a country that's definitely on my bucket list. So um, I definitely was very thankful for them, for him to have brought that back for me. That was very, very nice of him. So we have quite a few. So we have 20 of the Being There th series. This is double stacked. There's another whole stack behind these ones up here. All the way to the tippy top. So what we're gonna do, um, I missed out on a bunch of them. I'm not gonna remember all the states. Most of them were the northern, east, eastern northern seaboard states, uh, like New York, New, New Jersey, Delaware. Some of the places I, I didn't get um, mugs just because we tried or we, we tried and a lot of places were out of them. They were saying they've been out for quite some time. So with that said, I was able to find a lot and there's some really interesting ones that maybe you guys can help me if you're football fans out there. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna dive right into these and so let's get started right now. All right, so what I did is I uh, kind of unboxed things. I have very limited space here at this house so I'm going to try my best to not knock things over because I'll probably break them. Um, so anyway, we're gonna just start off with the first one here in no particular order. We have, oops, sorry. To tell you I have like no space, I'm not even joking. <laughs> so this is New Mexico, uh, one of the states that we did drive to. And this says the land of enchantment. And it was a really cool. New Mexico is really nice. We did we went to the White Sands Monument. There's so many great things. What I love about these mugs is they kind of they don't get all of it, but they get a lot of things on here. The one thing that they didn't put on New Mexico, first of all, we went to Roswell, New Mexico for the aliens, of course. First of all, they don't have a single alien on this mug anywhere, and they don't make their own like alien mug for Roswell. They make them for all sorts of places, but anyway, I was a little saddened that A, there was not a single alien on there at all. But anyway, that was New Mexico. We really had a great time. Next up, the box is falling apart. Like the glue is completely taken off. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, oh God, I want this one to stay pristine because it is the Florida Keys. So we did stay in the Florida Keys. We stayed in Key West and Key Largo. And no offense to anybody, but Key Largo was by far my favorite. Uh, Key West is so overrated. <laughs> and so expensive um so anyway uh we loved it there of course there's told there's so many deer crossing signs down there and of course you gotta have the snorkels and all the chickens of course and landmarks and things like that um so in general the florida keys are an absolute wonder because for us in canada we would never see no one would live in a place like florida keys because the Canadian government would never put a bridge or road works on it <laughs> No government in Canada would spend that money, but I mean, I was very impressed but, um, by all the bridges and things like that. So the next one here is a place that we did go to on our way to Halifax three years ago, but they were simply just out of mugs last time. So they've got the Great Salt Lake, which we did go to, the Arches. They have got, again, so many great landmarks and little things to remind us about um, the state in which I've picked up the mug. So this is super, super cool. Um, Utah is probably my favorite outside of Hawaii and the Hawaiian Islands. Utah is probably my favorite state in the U.S. I don't know. There's just something about Utah that screams like I got to go back like and spend more time. Like, it's, you know, spend more time. The next one here is Arizona. Another one of the states that we couldn't get the mug. We were literally in Arizona for half an hour just dipping in over the border when we went to Halifax. So we made sure, and we were in Arizona a little bit longer, uh, we made sure to pick up a mug this time around. So Red Rock Sedona, just Cacti, Grand Canyon, you know, all that fun stuff, Horseshoe Bend. So anyway, again, I just love collecting these mugs because they're so cool. And one of these days, I hope to have something where I can display them. I do live now in earthquake world, so that should be fun. Um, this is from Austin. So I ended up getting this, it wasn't even in Texas. So what was weird is I was getting a little desperate because there were some places I couldn't find mugs at all. <laughs> so armadillos, which we found a lot of them hit on the side of the road in our travels. Um, but yes, so Bat City, Penny Backer Bridge. I'm, I'm assuming that's a famous bridge, but obviously music is a big thing here. Um, anyway, so 
with that said, I actually don't think it's Austin, the city of Texas, because I didn't get it in Texas, but I have no idea. I was just desperate because wherever we were at, um, I hadn't seen a mug. We haven't been able to pick one up for a while. <laughs> so earlier on in the intro, I was telling you guys, you'll have to help me out. So I didn't know. So apparently they won't do one specifically for Roswell, New Mexico because of aliens, but they'll do Florida International University. <laughs> There's couple where I was like, okay, I went into this one. I'm like, okay, just grab whatever mugs. This one's kind of cool because it's got, I'm assuming it's school colors, like a gold and a really nice deep blue. And the inside is like, a, well, it's, I think it's supposed to be like a gold. It's a little bit more of a pooey color, like a baby poo. But um, I think they're going for like the gold crest and stuff. Anyway, this is kind of cool. There's a couple football, or I think I have a football one coming up. I, I'm, I'm not quite as aware of but anyway I saw this when we were in Florida and I'm like okay we didn't go to the university it just happened to be I guess in um the store that we went to so it's got an official sticker so any of the ones that this one there's at least one other that is like a football one that have the sticker here it's like college brands so anyway obviously branded for or by Starbucks so anyway glad I got that because I have no idea but I'm, I'm willing to hear what you guys have to say because I really don't know <laughs> I'm not into football. I know. Shocker, right? I'm Canadian. I'm I'm a hockey gal. So Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -P -P -I. I always remembered how to spell it since I was a little kid. So anyway, Mississippi, we went through Mississippi and as well as many other states, and it was absolutely awesome. Uh, Mag the Magnolia State. It's absolutely beautiful. So much history in the US, you guys, that we don't have here in Canada. We're not even close. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're kind of far behind, but it's quite lovely to go see all of that. So, and then the next one here, I already have a Texas mug, but it is from the, what is it? From the You Are Here collection. So this is from the Being There series. So what I know is that the You Are Here collection is being discontinued, I believe. But the Bean There series, so the majority of these are the Bean There series, so they are in rotations. Oh, I said campus collection. Oh, okay. And then the rest are across the globe. See, this is the first time I sat down and actually looked at this. Anyway, so this is Texas. So everything you know about Texas. So we Space Center, the stars, lots of cows, lots of, um, what is that called again? Oh, the donkeys, these little donkey things here in the oil patch. Um, the boots, you know, everything you can think of. The Lone Star Estate, hello, pretty dang cool. So that's Texas. And uh, Ramona had given me the other series mug. Here's, I guess it was 20, I don't remember if it was one before I met her or after, but it's, it's three, four years ago. And this one here is Atlanta. So here we go with Atlanta, Dogwood City. Beautiful, gorgeous. I find that the typical... Chattanooga, uh, Chattahoochee River, Chattahoochee River. Um, they're like orange, blue, green, and they don't stray to, and red. Orange, blue, green, and red are the, the strong, the regular series. And when you get to the campus collections, they're a little bit different. Um, but this one's very, very nice. Atlanta, Georgia. That was so lovely. We weren't in Georgia very long. We were driving from Charleston to Key West that day. So we were booking it. So then that we got Alabama here as well, the Cotton State. So we've got Air Force, Falls, football, more um, rockets, crawfish. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Obviously, it's got some good golfing there. So yeah, that's perfect. So again, like I said, it's kind of that green color, right? Like it's kind of a, a green color, green, red, orange, blue, a couple tones of blue, a couple tones of green. Um, they don't stray too far from it. I think the only one that I know is a state mug that I have that, that actually Ramona got me when she went to Florida is the Florida one. It's pink, which is cool. Um, I wish they did more different colors, but Louisiana, also an awesome state that we drove through. Louis the 14th, I think. Um, anyway, the, the crocodile. No. Alligator, the alligator, I forget. Crocodiles are saltwater, alligators are freshwater for the most part. More donkeys over here and some flowers and music. Beautiful. Like I'm not even going to pronounce that. <laughs> some sort of causeway. Yeah, if you guys are from any of these states, let me know down below what state are you from? Or do you also collect Starbucks mugs? Because if you're watching this, 
you just might be collecting mugs as well. So the next one I have here is Georgia. And Georgia, again, state of Georgia, where the other one was Atlanta. So that was a city mug. So yeah, so here's the one for Georgia, the Empire State of the South. And beautiful chicken chickens, uh, Jekyll Island. Oh, those trees with the moss growing from it are amazing. I'll tell you guys though, I am not a girl for humidity. I don't know who is, but if you are, congratulations, you're my hero because the humidity down in the US was unreal to say the least. So, oh my gosh, like once we got through to Texas, like Texas had no humidity on anything else that I had been through at that point. And then after tech, like Texas onwards, basically from San Antonio, I wanna say, and onwards, it was like, oh, I can handle the hot heat. I can handle the hundred degrees, but you throw hundred degree weather and, and humidity and I'm, I'd melt, I literally melt. <laughs> Washington DC. So there's of course the landmarks. We went, we walked the mall uh, very early one morning because we didn't have a lot of time. It was great to go and walk the mall before everybody got out and got, you know, wandering. Middle of summer, I think we were walking around there between seven and nine or seven and 10 or something like that. We, we spent a few hours, but there was hardly anybody there. So it allowed us for some photo ops. I'm a rower, so I'm super excited to see the little rowing uh, crew there. So that's very cool. So it was my first time in Washington, DC. So that's kind of fun. And then we have, North, oh no, South Carolina. So South Carolina, actually interesting, I, 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 I take back. It has pink on the inside, but red on the outside. So that's interesting for me. So South Carolina, Hilton Head, uh, we didn't go there, but Fort Sumter and all these beautiful areas. Oh, it's just so nice. And to say that the Southern states are like, what as everyone on TV has always said is Southern charm, 100%. Everybody was so nice in the South. Like, I guess how I would think some people thought Canadians were, like we always say thank you or sorry. Not that the Southern states say sorry, but um, that they were just super nice. So yeah, like very polite, like strangers asking you how you're doing on the street. It was very cool. So here we go is Virginia. So we have mother of presidents. So Blue Ridge Mountains, Crab, and I guess some of the landmarks I don't know. Please don't hate me. Oh, there's a little like, something shopping on there. Uh, live passionately. Well, we all should probably take that quote. Yes. So there is a Virginia. So that was cool. It, like, a lot of the Eastern Seaboard was my first time being in their state. Um, oh, is this one? No, Connecticut. Okay. So the next one is Connecticut. So this one here is a dark blue mug on the inside. It's actually, I love that color blue. But uh, so there's anchors because you're on the coast and it's like, obviously they, oh, the covered bridges, the white oaks, the um, lighthouses, the constitution state. Yeah, tons of history, you guys. So nutmeg, is that what nutmeg looks like? Yeah, apparently it does. But anyway, very, very cool. Connecticut was also my first time in that state as well. Do you guys have a favorite state? Like I said earlier, mine's Utah. So do you guys have a favorite state? Okay, so this is one. <laughs> that I'm not sure. So I was getting desperate because like I guess I had New Jersey, New York, Delaware, um, gosh, there's a, quite a few states that we were just over and over again, I wasn't able to get anything, but we were in New Jersey. I want to, please don't get my New Jersey, I think. And we went to go grab uh, a Starbucks for the road and I stopped and there was only one kind of mug there. And it's this one, Rutgers, birthplace of college football. I think it was in New Jersey, but please don't quote me on that one. Let me know if I'm right. <laughs> so again, you have that branding sticker there, the authentic authentication and uh, are you rah, rah? I guess that's a cheer. <laughs> so anyway, please don't laugh at me for my nonsensical, <laughs> un my, my lack of knowledge in football and college football, especially because I really don't know. But anyway, that was kind of cool. Like I said, that was kind of like a Holy crap, I'm not finding anything. Where is everything? <laughs> Where did it all go? So this one, I was so excited about you guys. So this is a special one. It has even a pink bottom. This is from Universal Studios, or no, Universal Orlando Resort. This is so cool. I'm so happy. I love Orlando. I love, I wanna go back in January when, there's, when it's cooler, less humidity, and less people. <laughs> 
So Islands of Adventure, we did that and it's beautiful, Universal Studios, Florida. We did not do Volcano Bay. We did have a double, like a duo pass with, um, with Islands of Adventure and what was the other one? I can't remember. Anyway, we did the city walk both nights. So we were there too. What a great place just to walk around. Anything you want to eat, there's stuff there. And it's blue on the inside. It's very, very cool. I love that one very, very much. So do you guys, okay, so I, my favorite ride was Hagrid's. <laughs> I'm not sure you're not surprised. Do you guys have a favorite ride at Universal? So next up we have North Carolina. So we have the South and now we have the North. So it is a nice baby blue color on the inside and just beautiful. What The White Waterfalls barbecue, of course like Texas too. Uh, pretty much the whole area. Old, the old North state. Again, barbecues and thingies. Yeah. So it's super cool. Blue Ridge Mountains. Yes. Very famous. So yes, I love the Carolinas in general. Like I said, the people were just amazing and so nice. Like, like I said, felt like I was in Canada a little bit. <laughs> Actually, even they were nicer. <laughs> um, Idaho, so we, I've never been to the state of Idaho. We had to go in there and dip in there for a little bit. And this is a spud state, of course, Idaho potatoes. It's a very rich blue color on the inside with Helix Canyon, all sorts of fun things. The falls there, salmon, snake rivers, meet little Ida, you know, all that fun stuff. Like Idaho would be a cool state too, but still Utah has my heart. If I was a gazillionaire, I would probably get a place where I could go skiing in the winter and outdoors, everything else non-winter. <laughs> and the last one from the Being There series before we go to the very special mug that I received. This is the Washington mug. So this is the last mug that we picked up because it came up through Washington State into British Columbia. So it's the Evergreen State and it makes sense that it's green because, you know, Evergreen State. <laughs> so it's all these amazing things and we were surprised at how much wine that they had there's so many grapes out there for sure there was a bit of a forest fire happening i'm from forest fire country in british columbia so i do understand it's horrible um washington they have the museum there we went to the museum on our way across three years ago and so yeah it's very much very similar to bc like in the sense of what you find in washington state you can find in bc um, but we get a little bit colder. <laughs> so that is the end of the Bean There series. Now, I want to share with you guys this very special mug that I received from my friend. Her husband was deployed and her husband just got back from his deployment the day before we left. So we met up um, at the Pride Parade in Halifax after the Pride Parade was over and my bucket list to get to Ireland. But so you can see the difference. So this is you, the You Are Here collection. The big difference, obviously being there series, there is a big difference in wh how what you see in here. So this is Ireland here and it's just beautiful. It's on my bucket list of places to go. I am so ecstatic about this. It's so pretty. Um, Ireland is definitely one of the places I would like to go to. And I am Irish. Um, my last name is Irish. Well, my maiden name is Irish. It's oh, it's yellow inside. I didn't even look. Oh my God, it's yellow inside. Um, and so there's a lot of ancestry in Ireland on from my my dad's side of the family, I think spe specifically. So anyway, you guys, that is everything. And again, it's 20 of the Bean There series, and then one here from the You Are Here collection. I don't know what my grand total is now of the Bean Year series, but I'm thinking it's closer to 50. I, I would have probably picked up, let me see, we did 25 states and I got a couple special mugs. So I think I'm missing for states, I think I'm missing seven, seven or eight of the state mugs that I couldn't find because I have a couple of the football or college series and, um, and we did 25 states when we drove across. So anyway, I think that makes sense. Anyway, that is a lot. I can't wait till someday I can display these. It won't be anytime soon because everything's in boxes. So again, thank you so much for your patience, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, like you're gonna see me in a couple different places and setups and things like that. And I'm gonna do my best. Lighting may not be the best, but we'll try. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much. And again, let me know in the comments where or which state are you from if you're from the US or what is your favorite state of all the states that you visited or lived in? All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.